it's been quite some time since I've actually shown you an ingredient which actually works for hair regrowth and reducing your hair fall and it's been some time since I've made this kind of a video so stay tuned till the end of this video and we'll get to learn a lot from this one Hey guys, welcome back to the Bearded Chokra. My name is Abhijit Bhansali and in today's video we are going to be talking about quercetin. We'll be taking up questions what is quercetin? Second will be mode of action of quercetin. Third will be the results that it has produced and fourth will be the claims and the verdict. Number 1, what is quercetin? Now just like minoxidil, just like ridensil, just like procapil, Crescetin is a registered name of a compound. Now it is not just made out of one particular ingredient. It has a few ingredients in it. I will explain what they are. But basically crescetin is an aqueous extract of two things. One is the Indian cress and the other is the water cress and that to only the aerial parts that means your leaves and shoots now apart from indian cress and water cress crescetin also has water it has glycerin it has sorbic acid and it is actually titrated with sulfur so it has sulfur content in it as well now we will go into the mode of action of crescetin now before going into mode of action of crescetin as a whole i want to explain what each individual ingredient does so first things first watercress watercress is a plant which is very high in zinc iron vitamin a vitamin c tons and tons of minerals and antioxidants are present in watercress that makes it very very potent as an anti dandruff keeping dandruff away because it also has a good amount of sulfur content in it next comes indian cress now indian cress again tons and tons of antioxidants vitamins minerals very very good but Indian cress is actually known since hundreds of years to be very good for stimulating new hair growth along with that it also has antimicrobial properties so both indian cress and water cress both will also give you a little bit of anti dandruff properties as well third is glycerin now glycerin is a humectant it's a conditioning agent it is also a preservative so all of these are the uses next is water that is going to be acting as a solvent for this Now apart from that there is just one more ingredient and that is sorbic acid which is just 0.1% that is the preservative which is used in this because you need something to preserve indian cress and water cress especially because it is a water based extract a water based solution now that was all the individual ingredients and their mode of actions but now as whole crescetin what is its mode of action now before we get into this it is very very important to understand what hair actually is hair is nothing but a high sulfur matrix protein which is called keratin okay so keratin amounts to over 90% of the entire hair structure which has disulfide bonds and it is the keratin cells which are the dead cells the anucleated cells which stack up on each other to form the shaft of the hair so that's basically what hair is now why was this important to know it is important to know this because only when we know this will we be able to understand and be able to you know make a way so that hair regrowth can happen so for hair regrowth to happen we need to cater to this high sulfur matrix protein which is keratin and it's formation its production and that is exactly what crescetin does now we need to go a little bit into depth there is something called as the wnt pathway you don't need to get into too much detail wnt pathway just understand this that it regulates and it leads to the cell proliferation and it also recruits cells it also causes gene expression there are a lot of things that wnt pathway regulates and does in the body now why is wnt pathway very very important for us because wnt pathway is the pathway which is going to cause hair growth okay so it's going to cause the hair regeneration it's going to cause the cell proliferation of keratinocytes that is why wnt pathway is required also wnt pathway keeps your hair follicle in the anagen phase so till the time we are able to stimulate the wnt pathway we will be able to stimulate hair growth now there is one more thing crescetin has sulfur in it because sulfur is used while titrating crescetin and also 
Indian cress, water cress both have a little bit of sulfur content. Why is sulfur important? Because keratin is actually made out of sulfur and it has disulfide bonds. So sulfur plays a very, very big role in not only hair regrowth, but also hair strength and hair flexibility, hair porosity. There are a lot of things that get into this aspect. Now we move on to the results. The pathway looks interesting. Results look even more interesting. Now, I want to make this very clear. There are not a lot of research papers on crescetin. Rather, there are none. There is only one study which is published by the company which has made crescetin and that is their own private lab study. So I want to make this very, very clear. Apart from that, this test was not done on it was not done on humans directly. It was not a clinical trial. What they've basically done is that they've taken human epidermal keratinocytes and they've subjected that to crescetin. And they've seen what effect crescetin has on that keratinocyte. So this study has been done to judge four aspects. One will be the control. One will be 0.25%, which is the minimum dose of crescetin. Next is 1% and next is 2.5% of crescetin. So these three dosages of crescetin are being compared to the control which is going to be no crescetin. Now when they subjected these different dosages of crescetin, these different concentrations of crescetin to these keratinocytes, one thing that they found was about the WNT pathway. So as far as the activation of WNT pathway is concerned, in 2.5% of crescetin, it led to a 37% increase in the activation of WNT pathway as compared to the control. And if we talk about the stimulation of the KGF production, the keratinocyte growth factor production, 2.5% cause of crescetin caused a 107% increase in this KGF formation or production in the body, which is huge difference if you compare it to the control. So now what are the claims and what is the verdict? The claims are on your screen. Apart from that, if I talk about what I think of this compound. So I actually used this compound in 2017 in a hair growth serum. They don't make it now. Uh, it's discontinued. But that was the first time where I got exposed to this compound and I fell in love with it because the way it behaved on my scalp, it was outstanding. Now the serum just did not have crescetin. It had many other different compounds in it. The way it stopped my hair fall, the way it stopped my dandruff, the way it thickened my hair, the way it gave my hair texture. And the biggest aspect is that the results are very promising. There are no side effects. It does not cause any irritation. And it is very, very well tolerated in all types of formulations and also by all skin types. That is the biggest benefit of this. So if you find a good product with crescetin, I would definitely recommend you to at least give it a try. Don't have very high expectations as far as hair regrowth is concerned, but as far as stopping your hair fall, stopping your dandruff or reducing your dandruff, increasing the thickness of your hair, it works absolutely brilliantly and guys that was it for today's video if you like this video please hit that like button share it with your friends if you like the content if you like my efforts please consider contributing the first link is there in the description where you'll be able to contribute monetarily towards this channel and apart from that once you hit subscribe and press the bell icon choose all notifications so that youtube gives you all the notifications from this channel all my social media links good product links research paper links everything is going to be there in the description down below and with that said till we meet again be awesome keep your beard awesome and i'll meet you in the next one Bye bye